towns all across our nation, but in particular in Pennsylvania, Ohio, Wisconsin, and North Carolina. Nobody can believe it. These towns have been destroyed, and the mayors of the towns and the governors of the states can't talk about it because they're embarrassed that they allowed it to happen. In addition, through her phone app, something totally new now, it's a phone app for migrants, where migrants call in, highly sophisticated migrants. She's allowed virtually unlimited numbers of illegals to press a button, schedule their illegal immigration appointment at our ports of entry, and show up to be released into the interior of our country. Can anybody believe this? And they're invading our towns. It's an invasion of our country like no country has ever had to suffer before. And this was purposeful. They did this on purpose. This was not a mistake on their part. They did this on purpose because their policies are so wrong and so evil and so unfair. And there's only three reasons they would want to do that. Number one, they're incompetent. And I'm not sure that that's the reason. Number two, they want it for the votes. Number three, you know what that one is. We don't have to talk about that one. But there can only be a very few reasons, because they're destroying our country at a level that's never been seen before. Importantly, as part of this con job, it's a con job. None of the illegal aliens she is smuggling in through the ports or on the airplanes, think of it, big jet planes loaded up with migrants flying into the middle of our country and going to Iowa and lots of other states. They've all become border states. We only have border states now. But they're counted in the Border Patrol statistics. And when you do that, you can add a lot of numbers because they're not taking those counts. They want to have those counts not included in the numbers. In Aurora, Colorado, Springfield, Ohio, where it's been a mass invasion, these were two beautiful, successful towns, idyllic.